What's up guys? Happy um, Saturday? I was trying to think of what day this is gonna go up. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. I'm actually heading to the gym right now and uh, I know it's not the typical, I don't do a whole lot of fitness stuff on here, but I thought I could show you guys a little bit of my workout. I am working with a trainer right now. I got to where I didn't want to think about my own workouts. I didn't want to think about my own diet. Um, I do online coaching, so I spend my time doing that for other people. And when it comes to mom life, I just, I don't have a whole lot of time for, for much of anything, much less planning my workouts and my diet. So I reached out to Daniel, I've worked with him before. We know him and his wife well. They own Metroflex Gym here in San Marcos. And he has been doing my programming and then I work out with him once a week. He trains me once a week and today is that day. So I thought I could show you guys a little bit of the workout. The gym itself, it's a little intimidating whenever you see it at first because it's a warehouse gym. Daniel and Michelle are some of the kindest, most generous people that we know. Um, they're always trying to help others, help the community, help their family, their gym family. Um, so they're just all around great people. A lot of people go into the gym and they're intimidated because it's a warehouse. It's, you know, they play loud music, but they could not be more welcoming there. Uh, so it's, it's a great gym. I really am, am so lucky to have two great gyms to be going to. And it's just, they're just wonderful, wonderful people. And once you get past the whole intimidation of it, whenever you're going into the weight room and going into the gym, you realize that these people really want to help others and whether it's helping them with workouts or just uplifting them or praying for them, um, they're always really, really ready to help. So anyway, I'm gonna get to the gym. Hopefully I'm not gonna be late. Um, I'm gonna need a protein bar on the way over there. Not ideal, but uh, that's, that's all I've had time for today. So I'll see you guys there. All right, it's the next day and we're actually over at my parents' house. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're actually over at my parents' house. Uh, we're visiting for the weekend because it is almost Christmas. And we spend, I like to spend a lot of time with my family. I like to spend a lot of time around the holidays with them. And um, so we came over here this weekend. Eva just woke up from a nap. Now she's just playing. And I thought that I could finish out um, talking to you guys about my training um, and how that has looked since I had Eva. Um, I won't I won't make it too long because I know a lot of you guys aren't too interested in the whole fitness aspect of it, but I know that quite a few of you guys are. So training is, I think it's pretty much back to normal now. And uh, it's taken about six months. I mean, she's six months now, so it's taken about six months for me to start to feel a lot more like myself in the gym and just in general. Um, I mean, there's still aspects of myself, I guess, that I will never get back um, being a mom now. And that's okay. You know, I, I understand that things change and we have to change because of this. But um, I finally feel like I have most of my strength back, most of my energy back in the gym. Um, especially now that I have, um, enlisted the help of a coach. Uh, so I don't have to worry about my programming. I don't have to worry about, you know, diet and things like that. And I'm not, I'm not dieting because I still am somewhat 
no, I guess pumping, breastfeeding. So we actually recently had to up my calories a bit because I noticed a, a dip in production. Um, so I'm definitely not dieting. I'm just trying to have a healthier intake of food because it's really easy, especially around the holidays, to kind of let that go to the wayside. And I know firsthand, um, and I know the power of, of nutrition and how much it can help, but I know firsthand how that can affect how I feel, of course, how you look, and then how production of milk goes. So I'm trying to keep that pretty balanced, generally healthy. I still enjoy treats. I still enjoy uh, meals out with family and, and with Matt, but it's less so. And I'm trying to focus more on getting in whole foods and quality protein sources versus just anything and everything that I can get. That's definitely made a difference, I think, in my energy as well as my strength. And then just in general, you know, my body has healed a lot more from pregnancy and birth. And so I'm finally starting to feel my strength coming back. And I'm really, really excited about that. Workouts are enjoyable and I get typically in a week, I, it just varies from week to week. There are some days like Wednesday, I was at home with her all day. I didn't have a car because Matt was out at work and then his parents were gone all day. Um, so I just did not have time or energy or the capacity to get to the gym or even work out. And so, so days like that, I had planned on working out, but it just didn't work out that way. And that's okay because I'm a mom now and that happens. So, but typically I try to get in at least three workouts a week. Um, on a good week, it's five. And those are strength training days. So I go in and I lift, focus on strength training exercises, not doing a whole lot of cardio. The, the cardio that I do get, cardio, is just taking her for walks every day. Um, and weather permitting, we try and get out every day because she loves being outside and she loves getting in the stroller and going for walks. And as far as, you know, weight loss goes, I try not to focus on that. I try not to talk about it too much because my main focus is health, um, how I'm feeling, how my workouts are going, and then how my clothes are fitting and how I'm looking. And so I know that all of that is going in a positive direction. It's going in the direction that I want it to. Um, but to be honest with y'all, my, my weight is the exact same as it was the day after I had her. But my clothes, I'll, I'll put in a, a, um, a screenshot of some progress pictures that I posted on my Instagram. I know, again, it's not the normal type of stuff that I post on here, but this is my journey and I wanted to uh, share with some of you guys and hopefully it can encourage some of y'all. Um, I think the biggest takeaway that I want other people to get from me sharing my own journey is that progress can still happen even if it at, is at a snail's pace. And we're kind of in the same boat with that, with the house. Um, things are happening albeit they're not as fast as we had originally anticipated or hoped, but they're still happening. So whether you take 10 steps forward this week, or if you take one step forward this whole week or a centimeter, anything, any progress is progress. You know, any step forward is a step in the right direction. Um, so during the holidays, it's tough. It's tough to get workouts in. It's tough to maintain a decent nutrition. But I just try and focus on each day doing what I can. If we're, you know, like on Thanksgiving, your diet's not going to be great. It's, you're going to eat whatever you want and that's fine. But I just tried to get up and get moving. I didn't even get a workout in, but I tried to get up and get moving. Um, I tried to eat slowly, not to stuff my face and feel sick. Just any little bit of progress and focus on moving forward is, is what, what's best. And that's what I try to encourage to my clients. Not every day, not every week is going to be perfect. Some some weeks are going to suck. And just as long as you focus on continuing to move forward, that's the most important part. So I think that's that's kind of it. If y'all have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Because y'all know this is this is my thing. Like fitness and health and nutrition, like that's, that's my thing. It's my passion. So if y'all have any questions, I would love to chat with y'all. Um, if you do want to see more of this type of content, let me know. I think that's going to be it for the updates. We're going to be hanging out with my family and I think we're going to try, I'm going to try and go Christmas shopping with my mom later today and hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video.